David Brewster here with a new episode of Breaking Chords, and this is the String Skipping Arpeggio Workout. And it's been a little while since I've created a Breaking Chords episode, so I wanted to blow the dust off the series and share something new. And this is actually something I've had for a long time, but I love string skipping. And if you kind of poke around on my channel, you'll find lots of lessons and episodes devoted to string skipping arpeggios. Just search around for Nuno Betancourt, Paul Gilbert. I mean, there's tons of examples of this. You can actually find other episodes of Breaking Chords looking at string skipping. And there's tons of players out there for sure. I definitely picked up on this from studying Paul Gilbert and John Petrucci's music, but also Sean Lane, Buckethead. There's a whole bunch of players that love doing this. Steve Morse. There's tons of string skippers out there. So get ready. Here we go. All right, the first thing we need to do here is pick a key. And I'm going to select the key of G minor. And there's not really any rhyme or reason for that. I'm just choosing G minor. And we can find G minor chords all over the fretboard, right? And that's directly related to arpeggios because the notes of a chord played separately is an arpeggio. So think of G minor, the bar chord right here. And it's going to kind of reveal what we need for the G minor arpeggio, which we're just basically stacking the minor triad of G minor. So there's G, B flat, and D. Right? And then stack it again. There's G, B flat, D. That's basically what makes up that G minor arpeggio right there. Now let's take that, move it up an octave right there. We're going to basically focus on that shape right there. And we're going to highlight this area right there. Think of Stairway to Heaven, but in the key of G minor and then move that up an octave, and that's what we're playing with right there. So there's your G, B flat, D, and G. And also let's grab that B flat on top right there. You know, really common sweep shape for sure. So right there, there's our G minor arpeggio, and we're gonna basically relocate this D note right there, the third note. We're gonna transfer that note to the G string right there the exact same note. There's D right there, just like there's D right there. So now instead of this, now we have our first string skipping shape right here. And there's G minor right there. Your G, B flat, D, G, and B flat right there. term string skipping means we're leaping over the B string as you can see right there and that's a really common shape I originally learned that from studying Paul Gilbert's you know instructional material all right so there's G minor but instead of just playing it straight up and down like that let's sequence it let's turn those notes around in different orders and patterns and stuff so let's play with this all the way up and down and then we're going to basically do this so you've got this kind of staggered thing happening between the G and the, and the high E and also on the D and the G right there like this so really slow sequence right there and it sounds a lot more interesting than just playing straight up and down that arpeggio so definitely sequencing that arpeggio makes it sound a lot more interesting than just playing it straight up and down like that because you're hearing those notes kind of turn around you know within that sequence like that basic but it really makes that start sounding wicked you know almost immediately there was our first arpeggio G minor right here and we just applied the sequence to it like this so now what we're gonna do is transfer that into a chord progression that's gonna definitely you know open things up and make things a lot more interesting so we're gonna start with G minor for sure let's follow that with D major F minor to C major. So we're really just kind of moving, you know, G minor, D major, F minor to C major. But let's do that with arpeggios. So I find it interesting that G minor has this rolling kind of index finger bar right here. 
major right here has this rolling pinky finger bar, you know, for the arpeggio right there. Kind of interesting, just notice that. And then F minor would be the exact same thing down a whole step right here. And then C major is just like D major right there. Now keep in mind, we're not string skipping these yet. I'm just locating the arpeggios there and here and there and there, right? And then to string skip that, you know, we can revert back to the G minor shape we just had. Now for D major, instead of doing this, we're going to basically move, you know, this D note over here to the B string like that. So instead of this, we're doing this. Like that. Now just move everything down. So now F minor right there is transferred just like the G minor shape, but right here. Right? And then just like D major, C major is down a whole step right there. So instead of that, we're moving that C, you know, over there. So now we have the string skipped, you know, progression. So there's G minor. right there, F minor right there, and then C major right there. And there's your expanded string skipped arpeggio progression right there. Now to convert the sequence string skipping arpeggio progression into the string skipping arpeggio workout, we're going to basically apply that sequence that we applied to G minor. We're going to apply that to the entire progression. So just to recap that, you know, we had G minor right here. And the sequence we had earlier was like this. With that kind of staggered, you know, between the strings kind of movement like that. Let's apply that through that whole progression. So there's G minor. And then do that in D major right here like this. See that right there? Same thing down a whole step. So now do F minor sequence like that. And then C major sequence like we had for D. So all the way through that slowly looks and sounds like this. And of course, if we speed it up a little bit. You know, it sounds wicked for sure, it's slow or fast. But the last area here I'm gonna supply you with yet another variation to help you move beyond what we just uncovered because that was the string skipping arpeggio workout, but then there's a variation of that workout. So we're gonna lock into the same progression, but we're gonna change the sequence. So instead of doing this, we're going to do this. One more time there. And I'm actually adding a note from outside the arpeggio. I'm adding that A right there, which in the key of G minor, that's the ninth. So we're kind of hitting like a G minor nine implied with this. But right there, you can see we're going up to the G note. And then you've got this. the whole sequence right there. Now let's apply that to D or D major right here. And it really kind of opens up the sound right there because now we're adding that E note on top on the B string. G, but do it in F minor right here. You can see we're 
cleverly adding that G note now to the F minor arpeggio, which is going to change that to an F minor 9 implied, but that's what we're playing with right there. <laughs> The same thing that we had in C major, um, you know, just kind of transfer what we had with D, but now do it in C right here. All right, so slowly all the way through the whole thing, G minor, C major, F minor, C major. sound too. I love sequences like that. It sounds kind of classical, reminds me of Paul Gilbert, you know, his Racer X days for sure. But I love playing around with stuff like that, you know, and just kind of twisting my fingers around. But then once you really get comfortable with that, you're going to notice big boost to your technique for sure. All right, that's going to wrap this episode of Breaking Chords with the String Skipping Arpeggio Workout. And from here, you can continue making variations, maybe change everything, you know, start in a major key with a major arpeggio or tonality and see where that leads you or obviously change locations on the fretboard. You can put everything in a completely different key. Uh, you could start, you know, adding some additional notes to the arpeggios, maybe bring in like 11ths and 13ths and stuff like that, or flat fives or whatever you want to do. But arpeggios are really interesting, but string skipping is very interesting because it definitely helps break you away from that very locked kind of scale sound where all the notes are very close together. And with string skipping and arpeggio playing, you have these gaps and leaps and jumps between the notes and that catches your attention, catches your ear because you hear this low note and then the next thing you hear is this really high note and that's very different than what you hear from a lot of scale runs and stuff like that. You have these leaps and jumps which is really cool. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.